Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So a little bit of early video today and a short one because I'm driving over to Germany for the next couple of days. So let's start straight here into the one hour time frame because Bitcoin currently had here this little breakout from this rising wedge and currently is coming up again to retest the possible new resistance at 11,750. So let's see if we are able to push through here towards 12K and also break it in order to go to the next levels above 12K or if we're getting rejected here, we're gonna see maybe a dump towards $11,200. So this is what we are expecting currently. The chances are both equal. I think that we could see a possible push towards 12K, but also of course a possible dump towards this $11,000 area, maybe even below. The good thing is that currently after this little drop that we had here, we had the support here at $11,500. The RSI here in the one hour came above the 50 level again. And if we have a look here into the CMEs, you can see that this gap that we created here this weekend got successfully filled. And right now we're seeing another continuation to the upside. So if we're able to push through 12K, I think it is very likely that we're going to see also $12,700, most likely, maybe even higher. But if we're getting rejected here at around 12K, I think it is very likely that we could come down here towards 11K, potentially even go lower, since we also still have this CME gap down at $9,600, and potentially we could also go to retest this 10K area support. The thing is that currently Bitcoin is still looking very bullish, although a lot of the altcoins are performing still very well. And that's why I think the momentum is clearly shifted to the upside and we could see some further pushes to the upside towards 12K and higher. And now let's go over to the Bollinger Band in the one hour because here also you can see that after this drop that we had, we immediately corrected back up here. And right now we are also trading here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band. So we could see here a possible retest of $11,800 coming up pretty soon. We have MACD with the bullish cross now shifted to the upside, stochastic as well. So here it's pointing out that in the next couple of hours, we're gonna see here a possible retest here of this $11,800. $800 and there we're gonna have to see if we have continuation to the upside or maybe we're gonna have a potential drop here towards this $11,000. And now let's go over to the four hour because also here you can see that currently we're trading above all the moving averages, which is very bullish. The 20 is right here at 11,620. Of course, we still had our sell signal. So let's see if this indicator is gonna play out or not, because now in theory, we should see a possible drop towards 11,000 based on my own indicator. The thing is that currently the four hours still looking very bullish, although we're trading above the 50 level in the RSI. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the four hour, you can see that also here we're still trading here in the upper area. So we're still trading here in the upper area, even though we are having these little corrections to the downside, but the bulls immediately come back and buy the dips. So you can see that we never closed the four hour candle below the middle line. So this is very bullish. The only problem is that the stochastic now shifted to the downside and also the MACD is looking like that it's going to be a bit toppy here and we could see a potential bearish cross. That means that we could see a potential drop here in the price even towards here 11,450. That is very likely if this bearish cross is gonna play out here in the MACD. And if we go over to the daily time frame, here we are getting again in very bull mode because currently we are closing again the daily candles above the 20 daily moving average. So as long as we are closing daily candles above 11,560, we are good to go to the upside and we could see a potential retest here of 12K, maybe even up here at $12,800. The problem is that the RSI is still in this falling wedge here. We didn't see a breakout, but could happen pretty soon. If we are dropping here from this resistance, then prepare for a major sell-off. But once we're gearing up again here to break out possibly here from this falling wedge, I think the move to the upside will be quite huge and we should expect a possible big move to the upside that potentially will take us to the next levels of 13 to 14 thousand dollar and also of course the RSI is still above the 50 so that is a good sign let's hope that we will not crash further down otherwise we could see a real sell off towards 10,000 maybe even down to the 9,600 dollar level where also our CME gap is lining up 
and if we open up the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that after we bounced here from the bottom, currently we are retracing back into the middle line and it also looks like that we could see a follow through here and the top currently is at $12,100. So there is still a high chance that we could see a big push here towards this 12K area coming up pretty soon. We have the stochastic now shifted to the upside. This is what we were waiting for. And also the MACD is looking like it's coming to a bottom. And as soon as here we're gonna have a bullish cross, we will have a big bounce to the upside incoming and that will potentially take us straight up here towards $12,100. So let's see if today we can close here in the upper area of the Bollinger Band. This could signal that we will see some more pushes to the upside pretty soon. Only if today we're gonna close again below 11,560. So if we're gonna close below the 20 daily moving average, then I'm expecting a potential drop towards uh, these 11,000 dollar first and then potentially towards ten thousand five hundred to nine thousand six hundred dollar all right guys and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if something crazy is going on i will always put it over on discord so make sure that you join my free discord trading chat you find the link down below here in the video description also if you have twitch you can of course also follow me over there on twitch and if you need any kind of trading exchange you find the links down below here with my links you can get some bonus and also you support the channel so moon up the likes my friends very appreciated subscribe here to the channel thank you very much for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye